Let's know about the history and geography of Mariupol in southeast Ukraine. The city has recently been in news and a lot of humanitarian crisis is witnessed in Mariupol. Let's understand a little backdrop about Mariupol before we understand the present scenario. Now, this location which is lying on the southeast Ukraine is adjacent to the Sea of Azov. We would see in a map uh, the exact location but uh, going on to the history of this region, this city was previously known as Zindo. Now, this was named as Mariupol in 1778. The city was founded, and in 1779, to honor the princes of the Prince Paul, this city was named as Mariupol. However, later on, the annexation took place, and this was renamed as Zindo. However, then again, from Zendo, the name changed back to Mariupol and this occurred closer in 1989. So that's how the names for this region had been changing. But the most important thing was there were lots and lots of Greek who migrated into this region. Now, a lot of Orthodox Christians who migrated to this region from Greece led to an increase in the population suddenly and uh, the population of the region of Mariupol witnessed a sharp increase with the incoming Greeks uh, before uh, 1940s, we can say, uh, the population of Russians was much higher and then there was a shift in the population structure with Ukrainian population getting more as compared to the Russian population. However, these are the predominant communities which are based in this region. If we talk about the geographical aspect of uh, Mariupol, we understand that it is based or uh, this region has predominantly the Chernozem soil which is considered as one of the good and fertile soils. The most common vegetation which is seen in this region is melons, grapes and sunflower. Coming on to the recent scenario, as we can see, this is the region of Crimea. Now, Crimea was uh, uh, under the Russian control in 2014 and since then, uh, we have been seen that uh, this region of Mariupol has been in disturbance. Mariupol is not a new region which has been in conflict recently. The same happened in 2014 and in 2015, the Minsk II ceasefire was brought in order to stop this, um, this uh, aggression that happened when in 2014 the Crimea was annexed. Now this Mariupol uh, region was at that time again a center of conflict. However, Ukraine was able to restore it. As of present, we have seen the separatist forces from the eastern Ukraine as well as from Crimea attacking the region of Mariupol. This which is uh, this location which is located on Sea of Azov. As soon as the control goes to Russia, the whole belt which stretches from the north from Russia till the region of Black Sea, which includes the Mariupol, the Sea of Azov and finally the region of Black Sea would have the uh, border with Russia and this would open the corridors for more trade opportunities and more um, uh, industrial growth more transport opportunities for Russia and therefore Mariupol has been a major center for conflict. Now, if we talk about the location, as we can see, Donetsk is the region lying to the north east of it and Donbass is the region lying to the uh, western side. Once the Mariupol is captured, there could be a direct connection between Donetsk and Donbass, uh, which would be a kind of continuum belt for Russia. As a result, this has become significant recently. Again, if we talk about the region itself, this region had been a, has been a prominent industrial center. It is believed that around 13 million metric tons of cargo is handled on a yearly basis uh, from the region of Mariupol. It is one of the major freight centers where the major transport occurs. Not only that, uh, it, has, it is home to nearly 50 industrial centers or industrial sites within the region. There are huge centers which are involved in production of steel 
also along with that there is coke manufacturing center there is coal plants a uh, steel is one of the predominant centers besides that tourism is again one of the major activities which is seen in this region and this whole uh, corridor once connected would have a significant impact onto the region if we talk about the steel uh, the two important companies which are running here is the ilish and the as of tal uh, so those are the two major companies which are having the steel production centers here also uh, this region is known for beach and beach related tourism so tourism activities are uh, significantly hampered as of now uh, the recent conflict which is ongoing in mariupol is considered as equivalent to what happened in the second world war to leningrad so uh, it is actually uh, approximated on the same level as the crisis happened in leningrad during the second world war so definitely a need for a humanitarian call here besides uh, iron and steel we have seen grain manufacturing as one of the major uh, centers in mariupol also uh, since it is a coastal town fish uh, canning activities uh, ship building activities are also seen in this region so definitely a very very important uh, center of economic growth uh, ecologically this is considered as an energy city and higher amount higher than normal amount of ammonia and benzene compounds were found in the atmosphere in the last uh, uh, one decade and this was one of the reasons that there has been a ecological and environmental call for uh, the growing industrial center at mariupol in this lecture we have focused on why mariupol is strategically important for russia we have also uh, considered the major factors why economically uh, ukraine could get a setback if mariupol is lost so those are some of the key aspects that we have covered in this lecture we will be covering many important sections related to current affairs russia ukraine conflict in the upcoming sessions stay tuned for updates and uh, definitely those preparing for upsc and allied examination the relevant links are available below thank you very much